Hey guys, I'm back, and well, here we have the Creality CR10S Pro. This is a V2. It started life as a V1, and I upgraded it. Now, the video has already been recorded. You'll notice a different shirt and probably more facial hair, but what I wanted to point out, kind of a disclaimer, or just to remind you that if you're gonna do any kind of electronic upgrades, be safe. If you're not comfortable doing these things, ask if someone else can do it for you, or if you can hire someone to do it, just anything that deals with electronics and 3D printers, you just wanna be super careful. I don't want you to damage your printer. I don't want you to damage you. So that said, you're gonna see in the video kind of a grand overview of what took me about an hour to upgrade all the fans in the sky to kind of quiet this fella down. I hope you enjoy. I hope you leave comments in the comment section. And here we go. Okay, so tonight we're gonna do some work on the CR10S Pro version two. And this is my machine right through here. And uh, I got a second camera going here so we can document this. So the first part of this upgrade is gonna be getting it to be a whole lot quieter. I've had this for a while, I just haven't gotten to it. Um, the bag has been thoroughly chewed up by Molly. Uh, this is from Tiny Machines, and this is a fan. Uh, this is a, I guess you call it a hush package. <laughs> uh, so what this is gonna do is this is gonna add and replace uh, some of the louder fans inside the CR-10S Pro. Uh, I believe uh, one or two of these are gonna be going inside the power supply. We're gonna be replacing the, uh, the fan inside that guy. And we're gonna be also replacing some of the uh, uh, cooling fans that are inside the electronics. So hopefully that will give us some improvement in uh, <laughs> the noise level right now. Now, of course, I have mine in enclosure, so I mean, certainly it's, it's not a huge annoyance, but I just like the idea that uh, uh, the printer is running uh, well, I think the, the new fans will, will do better, but uh, the biggest thing is the, is the noise. So, in the next part, so let's give a little before and after here. Let's uh, move the camera over here. And with any luck, okay, other camera's running good. Let's uh, give you an idea of the noise level. And, And I'm trying to look through my phone here. I had a decibel meter in here and I just have to find it. There it is. And a lot of that noise is coming uh, out the side here. And again, this is not even printing or moving. This is just the fans. And I don't know how well my microphone is working, but a great deal of that sound is coming from the electronics bay. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pop open the instructions that uh, Tiny Machine sent over. There's like a uh, iFixit link they have. And uh, we're gonna go through and start uh, replacing fans. Okay, printer's off, we've got the filament all the way out. It, the unload process is very slow on this guy. Um, okay, so let me show you the, uh, the stuff that I bought. So this uh, is separate from the uh, Noctur electronic fan upgrade. Uh, this is gonna add two pulleys to the uh, top of the uh, uh, dual Z screws. This will act as a way to sync it up. So that should be nice. Uh, we have uh, three things. So we have one fan that's gonna be going inside the power supply itself. This is gonna replace the uh, fans that are currently taking care of the control board. And this guy is gonna replace that loud rear exhaust fan at the back, uh, back of the printer. So this is the kit, uh, all these parts right here. And uh, this wasn't too terribly expensive, so I figured why not, just one more thing. And as you can see from all these beautiful chew marks, uh, this is why uh, having a cat that wanders your shop is a lot of fun. Okay, complaining about cats aside, <laughs> here I am taking the bottom of the CR-10S Pro uh, bottom cover off. Uh, as you can see, there's about a gazillion screws here on the bottom and on the sides. And uh, that will uh, give us access to the uh, power supply fans and electronics. And one thing that I skipped here in filming is uh, to release that power supply, there are four screws up top, which is why the bed is move forward there. And uh, so here I am, I'm getting the power supply apart. There's a gazillion screws in there. 
And once you get all those tiny screws out, then it's time to release the old fan. And here I am fast forwarded to, okay, the fan is free and now I'm trying to very carefully wiggle that wire out and I mean, it goes around all those very scary looking components and I mean, the power supply has been unplugged for some time, but still, you know, nothing in there you want to touch. So very carefully, and there's a giant blob that that power cable had on top of it. You can see it here in the white. So uh, yeah, I'm gently trying to hold things in place and get the old one out. New fans going in, again, following the instructions from the iFixit link and making sure we have the proper airflow orientation. And same thing in reverse, <laughs> reverse, reverse order. Uh, so what we're doing is we got the fan mounted and I'm looking at how the devil am I gonna get that wire in there? Is it long enough and can I reach? And then the answers are yes and yes. But very carefully working our way through and getting it plugged in. Okay, I hate messing with power supplies, but New fan is in, and the tiny screws that go on the side of this thing, these uh, little teeny things here. Yeah, not a whole lot of fun. Um, but uh, the new cable is down there. Sorry for the camera being sideways. Um, yeah, a lot of scary stuff to play with in here. So, yeah. So that part is done. Now to uh, button it all back up. Okay, and back at it. So we're putting everything back together and all the screws back into the power supply. And the real fun begins. This is where you can test your balance and strength and integrity and you name it. You're trying to balance that power supply with one hand and the printer with the other as you try to line them up and put the power supply and attach it back to the printer. It's a little awkward, but it can be done. Okay, power supply is back in. Can't say that was a terribly fun time. Uh, the hardest time now is uh, there are two small screws in here, and as you can see, there's not much room to get a wrench in there. So yeah, good times. Uh, so I am just uh, trying to uh, get that last screw out. There's, fortunately, there's only two of them holding in. Uh, you can hear the zooming upstairs. The cats are having a field day, but once this guy comes out, uh, then we just gotta trace it out to the uh, power supply. And then the uh, replacement, Sitting down here, uh, they're using a buck converter for the uh, voltage and uh, they've done all the work for you as far as the wiring and then we'll just put that in there. So, yeah, just, uh, it, you know, this is not a terribly hard process to do. It's just that getting to some of these screws is really tough. Okay, first power up and uh, that one's spinning. That guy is spinning. Actually, that one is not yet. Yeah, that'll kick on when it needs to. And uh, these guys are going. And uh, so the power for that is in there, so that's good. That guy's been unplugged. I suppose I could remove it, but we'll just leave well enough alone today. The power supply was the biggest beast. Um, yeah. So now to put the uh, big cover back on. I kind of want to hear that one turn on. But that may not turn on until later. And hey, who knows, maybe uh, <laughs> it won't make any noise at all. I'm gonna give this a uh, minute or two and see if it does anything. Okay, it's all back together. Let's, um, and the power supply fan did turn on. Uh, I was uh, wanting to make sure. Uh, I did turn the uh, I turned the hot end and the bed heater on. And after a few minutes with that load, it did kick on the uh, fan. So that's good. Okay, staying right under 50. Let's uh, move this to the back where it was the problem. Yeah, 52. And of course my offender is uh, the fan over here now. But still better than before, in my opinion, so that's good. 
Uh, that hot end will be going away shortly when we do the DDX upgrade, which is coming soon. But uh, yeah, slight improvement. Okay, the upgrade's complete. It's way quieter. And that's it for this time. If you want to see what I'm up to, check out my social media. I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and of course the website where you can see all the videos as well as YouTube is where nerdiestcool.com. Thanks for watching. Let me know what you think in the comment section down below. I'd love your feedback. And as always, remember, this is where nerdy is cool. Print safe.